Uh, Bitcoin, it I just seems like a scam. All right, so we had quite good time on the last video, making the last video, going through some of the comments. So this guy says, explain exactly how Bitcoin is a Ponzi scheme. And I said, BTC is not Bitcoin. And he says, ah, okay, lol. Don't know what to make of that. This guy says, why would you hold the forks of Bitcoin? Because when Tether goes, so does Bitcoin and its forks. But the forks are not buying Bitcoin. Tether is not buying Bitcoin. It seems like Tether is only buying BTC and Bcash. Doesn't seem to be buying the original Bitcoin. But yes, you're right. When Tether goes, expect the price of BSV to plummet, I would say. This next guy says BSV for the win. BSV pumping and dumping as usual. It has been a terrible investment for anyone dumb enough to put their hard-earned money into. And that's right, my man. But we're not worried about our hard-earned money. We're worried about how many Bitcoins we can accumulate before the world realizes that BSV is Bitcoin. Then we've got the guy from the last video. He's been commenting more. How do you know that these BTC influencers are stacking BSV? Is there evidence of that? So that was from my video. BTC maxis are packing BSV blags on the slide. No, there's absolutely no evidence. That's just that's just a clickbait title. Then he says, there's so much money and big money in retail and BTC. I don't see how it will get taken down overnight. Of course, these things are possible. We'll have to wait and see. Now, I'm not saying... It's going to get taken out overnight. I think it's going to be a slow road to disaster. Where it just keeps going down and down and down. And hopefully BSV just keeps going up. But you need to acknowledge there is room to the downside. And I'll maybe even take you on my charts. There is a channel going to the downside, my man. So you need to be aware of that as well. And so in this video, I was talking about SegWit separating the intelligence. And he says SegWit is separating the witness signatures. That's his understanding. Yeah. But I was just making a joke with separating the intelligence. He's lying. You're getting soft. I'm so lost. It's really unreal. But here I am fighting. I don't know what Stop Boss Boss is talking about. Then Dietary Carr says, Big League Sinister Entities at Player here. Yeah, man, this is sinister, sinister stuff going on, man. If you look into some of the background, there's a Bitcoin University video about Michael Saylor. Oh, my God, look into that. And he just completely defends him. And it's like, bro... Some of the evidence is crazy against this guy and his connections with the CIA and the CIA manipulating the world into thinking something else is Bitcoin, man. It's just, man. Trump's changed his tune of Bitcoin, of it being held as a result. Yeah, so that's back to the previous video. And... You know, who gives a fuck what Trump says? Trump's going to get everybody wrecked, 100%. Just like he got everyone wrecked in the US dollar. He was like, oh, the dollar's great, the dollar's great, the dollar's great. And everyone got wrecked in the US dollar. Everyone that was holding dollars. So, yeah, man, Trump's not really on everybody's side. And he's, he, he, he's telling the truth. Don't sell your Bitcoin, you know? He's not distinguishing what is Bitcoin, but he's telling you don't sell your Bitcoin. So don't sell your fucking Bitcoin for BTC, man. Govern yourself. You need to fall more into BSV, man. That's Bitcoin. Don't sell your Bitcoin. Trump's right. So. <laughs> Cryptos.
I don't. I like the currency of the United States. I think it's, you know, I think the others are potentially a disaster waiting to happen. I don't know. I don't. Uh, I, I feel that it hurts the United States currency. I think we should strengthen. We should be invested in our currency, not in uh, I, they may be fake. Who knows what they are? Will but you tell they certainly us, um, are currencies. They certainly are something that people don't know very much about. No. Two years ago, you got Segwit, which we lied and cheated and stealed. And I was part of the lying and cheating and stealing to get Segwit, to get uh, uh, Lightning, which, by the way, had critical vulnerabilities and lost people's money. Which but one of the great calls I made is a year ago when Bitfuck was at $19,600. I said, it's over. My mentees lost billions. We got some bitfucks in there, I can tell. Too bad. <laughs> Shows you the stupidity. Shows you the stupidity. And I know who's behind Bitcoin. And it ain't some fucking Japanese guy in a cave. I know the guy. And when that comes out, you heard it here first. Bitcoin is going to zero. Zero. When it comes out, zero. The opening bell for Wall Street is about to ring. I'll ask you one last question. You don't like Bitcoin? You wouldn't invest in Bitcoin? Do you invest in the stock market at this moment? So not at this moment. I think it's high. Uh, so I have not invested in the stock market at this moment. I have in the past, but I have not at this moment. I think it's high. Okay. Uh, Bitcoin I, I just seems like a scam. Uh, I was surprised, you know, with us, it was at 6,000 and, uh, much lower. Uh, I don't like it because it's another currency competing against the dollar. Essentially it's a currency competing against the dollar. I want the dollar to be the currency of the world. That's what I've always said.